Welcome to the spoken tutorial on create and edit multiple objects using Enscape. In this tutorial, we will learn to copy and paste objects, duplicate and clone objects, group and order various objects, multiple selection and invert selection, clipping and masking. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 OS. Inkscape version 0.48.4 Go to Dash Home and type Inkscape. You can open Inkscape by clicking on the logo. Let's open the assignment underscore one dot svg file that we created earlier. I had saved it in my documents folder. First, we will learn how to copy and paste an object. To do so, we should first select an object. So Click on the pentagon. Now, press Ctrl plus C on your keyboard to copy it. Now press Ctrl plus V to paste the object. You can see a copy of the pentagon on the canvas. There are three other ways of creating copies of object. In all these three methods, a copy of the object is created exactly about the original one. The first method is called paste special. Recall that we had already pressed Ctrl plus C to copy the object. To paste the object in the exact location from where it was copied, press Ctrl plus Alt plus V key. Move the copied object to see the original object right below it. Let us move these two objects and keep it aside. The second method is called duplication. For duplication, we do not need to copy the object first. Select the pentagon and press Ctrl plus D keys on your keyboard. Now, a duplicate pentagon is created exactly on the top of the original one. Let us move the duplicated object to see the original one below it. The changes made on the duplicated object does not affect the original object. Let us check this by changing its color to green and reducing its size. The third method is called cloning. Click on the ellipse and press Alt plus D to create a clone. As before, the cloned object is created exactly above the original one. Let us move it aside to make it visible. Please note that the cloned object will always be linked to the original object. The original object is also known as its parent. Any modifications on the original object, that is in size, color, etc., will affect its clone. Let us check this by changing the original object's color to pink, rotating it, and reducing its size. Observe that the exact same changes are replicated in the cloned object automatically. To unlink the clone from the original object, first select the clone and then press Shift plus Alt plus D. Now select the original object again and change its size. Observe that the cloned object does not get affected. The shortcut icons for these operations are present in the command bar as shown. To select multiple objects, hold the shift key and click on the objects that you want to select. I will select one ellipse first. Then, I will hold the shift key and select the other ellipse. Notice that both the objects are now selected. We can now group them by pressing Ctrl plus G keys together. Notice the ellipses are now grouped as a single object. You can move them around and you will notice that both the objects move together as one object. Try resizing the group and you will notice that both the objects get resized proportionately. Change the color to blue and observe that both the objects change to the same color. What do we do if we want to change the properties of only one of the objects in a group? 
to select an object within a group, press the control button and click on the object. By this action, we can enter inside the group and select individual objects. To exit the group, click anywhere on the blank space on the canvas. To ungroup objects, first select the group and press either Ctrl plus Shift plus G keys or Ctrl plus U keys. Now, the ellipses are ungrouped. The shortcut icons for these operations are present in command bar as shown. To select all the objects on the canvas, press Ctrl plus A keys. To unselect all the objects, click anywhere on the blank space on the canvas. If we want to select all the objects except a particular one, we can use the invert selection option. Let's say we want to select all the objects except the arrow. So, first click on the arrow. Now, go to edit menu and click on invert selection. Notice that all the objects in the canvas are now selected except the arrow. Now let us learn how to order the objects. Let me move the smaller pentagon on top of the larger pentagon. Now let us draw a star and keep it on top of the smaller pentagon. Select the smaller pentagon. Go to object menu and click on raise. Notice the smaller pentagon is now raised and is above the star. Now click on the star. Go to object menu. Click on lower. Now the star is moved down or lowered and the larger pentagon now appears above it. Now let me click on the larger pentagon. Go to object menu and click on raise to top. Now the larger pentagon appears on top. Now again go to object menu. Click on lower to bottom. Notice. The larger pentagon is now moved to the bottom. We can find these options in the tool controls bar too. Next, let us learn how to do clipping. Clipping can make your complicated objects conform to another element or shape of your design by changing their entire shape quickly and easily. I will use an image for this demonstration. I have an image here in a new Inkscape file. On this image, I will draw an ellipse shape. Now, select the image and the ellipse. Go to object menu, click on clip and then on set. Notice, the image is now clipped to the shape of the ellipse. In clipping, the shape of the object used as a clip defines the area that is visible. We can remove the clip by going back to object menu. Click on clip. And then click on release. Now the clip is released. Next, let us learn to do masking. Masking is very similar to clipping. In masking, the transparency or lightness of one object determines the opacity of the second object. To demonstrate masking, I will first make the ellipse semi transparent using the gradient tool. Now select the ellipse. Go to object menu. Click on fill and stroke. Click on Radial Gradient and then on Edit. Move the RGB sliders to the extreme right. To change the color to white. Click on the Stop drop down arrow and select the other stop. Move the RGB sliders to the extreme left to change the color to black and change the alpha value to 255. Click on add stop to add one more color in between. Click on the node tool and move the diamond handle towards the top. Now select the image and the ellipse. Go to object menu. Click on mask and then on set. Observe the mask is formed on the image. Notice that the image takes on the transparency properties of the masking object which is the ellipse. To remove the mask, go to object menu, click on mask and then release. The mask is now removed. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learn to 
copy and paste objects, duplicate and clone objects, group and order various objects, multiple selection and invert selection, clipping and masking. Here are two assignments for you. Create a vertical ellipse in grey color and a circle in black color. Place the circle centrally on the top of the ellipse. It should look like an eye shape. Now group them. Next, create a clone to make another eye. Move it to the side to make both the eyes visible. Create a circle in blue color and a square in red color. Duplicate the square and keep both the squares in diagonally opposite direction. Select both the squares and group them into a single object. Place the circle centrally on top of the grouped squares. Select both and create a clip. It should look like a bow. Your completed assignment should look like this. The video at the link shown summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial Project is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown. We have come to the end of this tutorial. This is Aarti and Saurabh from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for joining.